How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of our NHL 20 Be a Pro series with our goaltender, Everett Scott. And it's it's been a while since I uploaded the last part to this series, um, I believe two weeks. But nevertheless, I am ready to get back into this and see how Everett Scott and the Carolina Hurricanes can fare in the rest of round two against the Tampa Bay Lightning. As you can see, we won game one of the second round, one to nothing over the Tampa Bay Lightning in Tampa Bay. So, if you remember the rules, uh, non-elimination games will just be third period only, and elimination games will be full game. So, don't know why I emphasized full game like that, but nevertheless, um, enough enough meandering around everything. We're just going to get right into it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We are going to simulate to the third period and see how we do. So let's get started. Okay, first period, tied at one apiece. Second period. All right, so we are going into the third period down two to one. So I'm going to put Tampa Bay in their black jerseys because I honestly like them a little bit better. But that's not important. Um, what is important is trying to win this game and take a 2-0 lead over Tampa Bay going back home for games 3 and 4. I'll see you at the start of the third period. Alrighty guys, we are back. Start of the third period here, we're down by one. Hoping to tie it up quickly here so that way we don't have to worry about losing this game. But excuse me for a second. So I turned on my actual TV just in case you guys can hear that in the background. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my laptop uh, in the background. It's sounding like it's about to blow up, but it's all I got to work with. So what can you do? Regardless, I'm going to focus on this game here. I have faith in my team to tie it up here. Nice deflection there saved by Vasilevsky. See here, I haven't played this in a while, so I might be a little rusty. So, we also got that to worry about. I hope you all are doing very well. I know I'm doing A-OK -okay myself. Um, I'm recording this um, on the 1st of February, and... I had recorded the grant, the first three parts to GTA San Andreas last Friday before the events of last weekend took place. And if you're a sports fan, no matter a fan of what sport, um, you probably heard about the, the tragic death of Kobe and Gianna Bryant, as well as everyone else who was involved in the the helicopter accident last Sunday <clears throat> so uh, I was gonna record some episodes earlier in the week just so that way I'd have them done cuz I have a busy weekend I have I have a hockey game to go to myself later tonight so I'm kind of rushing to get these done as my team goes offside but yeah I kind of wanted to get these done just because I knew I wouldn't have much time this weekend to do it since I normally record my videos for the week on like Friday night or Saturday. Um, but last night um, was the first Lakers game since all this happened and I really wanted to watch that so otherwise I would have recorded them. Recorded the videos for this upcoming week last night but like I said the Lakers game was on and I wanted to watch that. And also I would have recorded them earlier on in the week. Nice toe save. But it just just didn't feel I just didn't feel like it, you know. And I'm not even a big basketball fan anymore. It's just it was still something that just kind of took everyone in the sports world off, like off guard. So it just kind of slowed everything down, you know. Everything seemed like it was going to be fine, just a normal regular week, and then you start off Sunday afternoon with hearing that and just kind of 
slowed everything down, so. But we're we're not gonna focus on that too much. Um, we're gonna focus on moving on from it and keeping a good mindset. So that's what we're gonna do here. So. So let's see what my team can do. Nice shot saved by Vasilevsky. He can't hold on to the puck, but we can't take control of it either. So just in case you have forgotten um, how the rules are going for the playoffs, I said it a little bit earlier in the intro, elimination games will be full games, periods one through three, and then games like this will just be third period. So if we lose this game, we'll just do the third period of the next one. But if we lose the next, we will play the third period of every game until the next elimination game. So if we win this game and then the next one, then game four will be a full length game and so on and so forth. Oh, well, you got a power play. So with 310 left to go, we might be able to tie this here. I mean, if we could take games one and two on the road, against a pretty dominant team like Tampa Bay. I'd say we have pretty good chances. Uh, that was a good opportunity if only someone would have been there. But like I was saying, we'd have really good chances throughout the rest of the uh, second round if we could eliminate, or if we could beat Tampa Bay in games one and two on their own ice, you know. Just wondering what the heck my teammates are doing here. They had a gameplay update recently for this game, so I'm hoping that doesn't ruin everything. Because I like the way my AI teammates were performing. So I hope that the gameplay update didn't just completely jack it up again. I know uh, Finn, he's having a friggin' heck of a time with his goaltender series. He can't get the AI, AI for the team he's on to do anything. So... Well, that was a, comp a completely pointless penalty for us. All right, they're pulling me, so... Uh-oh. Well, we got the net. We both got empty nets. But obviously, it's not beneficial for us because... If we touch the puck, they get the power play, so, and there it is. So, unless we can get a quick shorthanded goal, I say game two will go to Tampa Bay. But, that's why it's a best of seven series, so. We just got a quick, we just got to get a quick shorthanded goal here, and maybe we'll be able to do that if we get the extra attacker out, even though it'll be even, since we have a penalty. Maybe we got we got enough time to do it. Nice slapper saved by Vasilevsky from the looks of it. And that will do it. We lose game two. We lose game two. Um, unfortunate. I'm thinking I forgot to up the time. Because for the full-length games, I usually do like four minutes. Don't I? I don't remember. I think I just forgot to turn up the time in general. So after this, I'm going to turn it up to eight minutes. Because that felt like it went way too fast. But um, Yeah, so I'll see you for the third period of game three. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to the start of the third period of game three against Tampa Bay Lightning. As you can see, we are down one to nothing. And I did not change the time to eight minutes. I changed it to six. It was actually on four minutes, so. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go, pass that out. Take that away, thank you, Flurry. But yeah, I had it on four minutes because the last time I recorded for this series, I didn't, I said I didn't have much time to do it. But both of those videos for that week were like over 40 minutes. So I don't know what the heck I was talking about there. But nevertheless, it's up to six minutes now. And then for the full length game, I'll probably up it to eight. 
but we'll just have to see how it works. So we might be bumping it up to eight for game four. Um, so yeah, let's hope we win this one though. Just as long as my team actually does something uh, worthwhile in this one, so. Nice shot saved by Vasilevsky. Looks like it was kind of deflected in front. We keep it in. Good job, boys. Teravine in. Savior of the first round, if you ask me. That's for sure. Ah, uh, O'Reilly. Opportunity there. Couldn't get it, though. I think he got poke checked. Bad pass there. Oh! That was totally my fault. Steven Stamkos, he completely deked my ass. And I don't even think he was doing a deke. I think he just moved a little bit to the opposite direction and I followed him. That's not good news for us, but we saw plenty of time. Nice interception from Brandon Saad there. If we can get one quickly, I think we'll be good. I think we could tie it up, but we have to get one quickly. I don't know if I made the save there or if one of my teammates did. Nice. Oh, we could have had a breakaway if the guy went and just stood there. He just stood there and watched the puck freaking go sliding down the uh, the opposite end of the ice. I don't know why I freaking couldn't figure out how to talk there, but that's nothing unusual for me. Just wide of the net right there. Thanks, announcer. I just said that. And a bad pass again, but we keep it after a nice poke check from Bean. But then we lose it again because of another bad pass. Got stick lifted, Huberto. Couldn't get the shot. I do have faith in this team. They just need to score soon. Come on, pal. See, it's this stuff that just gets so irritating. They make the dumbest passes and they try and do this, like the most irritating plays that make no sense. Sometimes you just got to take the shot. You don't always need to freaking pass it. Uh, oh, never mind. I was going to pass it out, but... I don't know, we might be losing game three here, folks. I'm starting to lose faith in this team. Not for the entire round, just for this game. Simulation really doesn't treat us kind when it comes to uh, these unimportant games. Nice save. Didn't really know how to react there, so I was just I was just holding the butterfly button, hoping that would work. Thankfully, it did the job. Nice hit there. Let's go, boys. Let's get something going here, quick. There you go, Teravine with the shot. Nice save from Vasilevsky. Just paddled that away there. Oh my god. Well, this one's over, folks, but I'm not going to quit out because that affects your... From what I hear, if you like quit out of a game before it's done, that affects your overall grades or something. So I don't need to be... What I was going to say is I'm not going to quit out of the game before it's done because from what I hear, if you do that, you will be given less starts. Um, but since we're not going to win, I am just going to um, 
yeah, I think I'm just going to cut it off here. So, um, yeah, I'll see you at the start of game four, where hopefully we can actually do something. So I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, guys, we are back. I am in the process of simulating uh, game four, and we are losing five to one in... Uh, at the end of two and I know for a fact that my team cannot score four the final of game three was four to two so in the last few minutes my team managed to score two but I don't have faith that my team will be able to score four let alone five to win it so we're just going to simulate it here see we scored one more but they scored one more so we're just gonna simulate it there and um, you know, I'm going to go off the, off the cuff here because I have a very strange feeling Th things aren't going to go very well. Um, cause yeah, we have lost three in a row and we are going back to Tampa Bay, um, down three to one in this series. So what I'm going to do is I will do to, uh, the full game. In this one so I'll do the full game in this one since it's an elimination game but I am NOT going to have it on eight minutes I'm not gonna have it on six minutes I'll put it back on four minutes like uh, game two was so anyway I just figured I'd uh, let you guys know what's going on so but anyway yeah we'll see if we get eliminated in this one or not so I'll see you guys at the start of the game Welcome to Tampa, Florida, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Puck drop just moments away here. They have a chance to close things out. Does that relax them at all? No, I don't think so. I think you feel more urgency. You want to get this over as fast as you can. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to the start of Game 5. As you know, we are down 3-1 in the series after just losing the past three games in a row. So I figured, you know what, I'll just throw the elimination game in this one because I have a strange feeling we're going to lose. Um, like I said, I have it on four minutes. And we'll see how that works. So, because it seems like in game one, we managed to actually do something, but since I simulated, we have done jack squat. There you go, Huberto. See what you can do with it. You'll probably just give it up. And indeed you did. So that's nice that there's some consistency on our team. That's always good to see. Just not the type of consistency I'd want to see personally, but consist... Yeah, I think this is going to be the end of our playoff run. I just... I don't know. This is going to be very frustrating. And unfortunately, there's still a whole lot of game left. Kind of wishing I would have just done the third period here. But we'd probably be down like 6-2 to two and there'd be no point playing. So... I don't even know how to commentate on this anymore, you guys. It's just so ridiculous. EA needs to seriously, instead of worrying about updating overalls for like four, for like four players, and then only upping their overall by like one, and then making such a big deal out of it, maybe what they should do is actually improve the AI and make it competent. So you don't have to watch your AI teammates skating around doing nothing for the entire game. You know? At least we tied it up there. I guess that's always something good. But, like I said, unfortunately there's still a whole lot of game left. You never know though. I guess if my team can score and take the lead here, then I'll be a little bit more upbeat 
and know that my team can actually do something in this game. But it still doesn't uh, defeat the point that the AI in this game is atrocious. The AI in this in this series of games has been atrocious for a long time. And EA doesn't give a crap about it because the only thing they care about is the only thing they care about is making money. And since Hockey Ultimate Team makes them a shit ton of money every year, they don't care if the single player aspect of their game works well or not. Because all they care about is the one that makes them money. It's the same way with every other EA Sports game. And it's, it's getting to the point where it's ridiculous. And I know I could just stop playing the game and not buy it every year, but I would like to play a hockey game and the problem is, is that there's only one publisher who releases it. So, I don't have much of a choice. But, regardless, we are on the power play now. So, see if we can take the lead here. If it's going to be anything like the last power play we had in like game two, it's going to be absolutely atrocious and pointless. But, Ajo takes it. Down to Teravine and Teravine and loses it. Riley picks it up. There you go. Nice job, Huberto. Nice pass from O'Reilly. We take the lead here. That's good. Just keep it moving, though. I kind of want to get this done. I don't want this video to be too terribly long, but... Every time I say that, the video still ends up being like 50 minutes, so what can you do? But yeah, uh, if you guys haven't watched my new series, my Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, playthrough, um, I only have three parts so far, but I really enjoyed them. So hopefully, if you guys haven't seen them, you'll check them out. There we go. Aho with a nice slap. Not a slapper. Kind of just a nice one-timer. See, where the hell was this in the simulation? Where the hell was this in games two through fucking four? There, it wasn't anywhere. I might as well just play the fucking full game of every game from now on, so at least I know my team can score. I don't know. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Carolina's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. But yeah, um... Hopefully you've been enjoying the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas series if you've been watching it. I say, get over. I have actually been enjoying it. I recorded it in like a little session. Like uh, certain, not I don't know if all YouTubers did it back in the early like 2010s when Let's Plays were like a huge deal. But... A lot of the YouTubers I watch did that. They would, rec they would record like an hour and a half worth of gameplay and then they just uh, edit it into like four videos. I tried that for the first three parts of GTA San Andreas and I didn't mind doing it. Um, but I think for the next part, which will be coming out on Friday of this week, I'm going to just do one full length part that'll probably be over an hour long and i'll just see how i like the feel of that way better and if i prefer just the individual parts then i will go back to doing that but oh and also um with mlb the show coming out soon um I do plan on doing a road to the show of that game. Nice opportunity there for Svechnikov, but no dice. I am planning on doing a series for MLB The Show since it comes out in a little over a month, I think. And so, I think I'm going to go back to the three videos per week schedule that I had. And I think what I'm going to do is have 
GTA be on Fridays. Um, and then I can't decide if I want MLB videos on Mondays or on Wednesdays. I feel like it'd make more sense to have NHL on Wednesdays since the Wednesday night, Wednesday night hockey thing. And then MLB on Mondays because I feel like MLB Mondays sounds better than MLB Wednesdays. As Huberto scores to give us a three goal lead here. See, now I feel like I'm just cheating the game here because I'm playing the full game and my team can actually score when I play the full game. So I'm not even really excited. I just feel like I'm kind of cheating the game here. But I'm not going to complain. We're winning. That's all that matters. Excuse me for the silence there. I was yawning. But nice slap shot blocked in front. Teravina tried to go on the backhand. Couldn't get it. Probably won't get to the bench, but I can try. Nope. Almost, but no dice. Well, let's see if we can take a five goal lead here. Or five goal, excuse me, four goal. I'll go get that. Thank you. There you go, Bean. Stuck on my own net. That's another thing I wish EA would fix. Because that gets so annoying. Aho with a nice shot. Svechnikov picks it up down to Bean, who just completely back skates away from the puck. That's always nice. Nice save there. I didn't even see where the puck was. Well, I mean, I didn't see it very clear. Obviously, I saw it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made the save. But I don't want to seem like, oh, I just knew where the puck was. I'm that good of a EA, EA Sports goaltender that I knew exactly where the puck was going to be because I am absolute trash. There we go. Nice backhander. We take a four goal lead here. So I think I think what I might do. I don't know. I think what I might do is after this period quit out and then we can kind of just say that we didn't play the full game since it was an it, well it is an elimination game so I might as well just play the thing. Maybe what I'll do is, because I'm on pro difficulty, because I felt like All-Star was not working. But maybe what I'll do is I'll put it up to All-Star and see if that kind of balances things out. Because, like I said earlier, I can't even be excited that my team is scoring because it just feels like I'm cheating the system by playing the full game. Because obviously I know my team can score now because I'm playing the full game. Because then I, because then that could just tell me, oh, play, play the full game for the rest of the series and you'll be golden. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll probably just, or maybe what I'll do is I'll just put it down to three minutes just so it ends quicker. I don't know. Nice save there. Nice pass. Sorry if you heard that, guys. That was my phone. The Is there going to be a penalty on Ajo? Guess not, thankfully. Right not that it matters, because we have a four-goal lead, so if I gave up one more, it wouldn't really hurt. Oh, nice try by Ajo. Just missed. Huberto with a block shot, or his shot was blocked, excuse me. He didn't block his own shot. Giveaway in front, nice save. Almost gave up the rebound to Radish there. Nice little stick handle there. Don't really know if it was a stick handle though. I didn't I didn't see the whole thing. 
Oh, they don't have Vasilevsky in this one. I wonder if that's why we're doing so well. But then again, I don't know who they had in net for game three and four. I know they had Vasilevsky in net for game two. Or maybe Vasilevsky did start this game and they just pulled him. I don't, I don't know. They probably pulled him because I don't see why Vasilevsky wouldn't start when he's clearly the better goaltender. I don't know. Nice interception by Tara Vinen with a slapper just wider than net. Nice shot saved by Brossois, I believe. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is turn the difficulty up to all-star after this period ends just to see how that changes things. So I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. So I'll do that and I'll be back for the final period of this game. Alrighty guys, we are back for the third period. I bumped up the difficulty. I bumped up the difficulty just to hopefully see if things will be a little bit more balanced so my team isn't just completely dominating the lightning all of a sudden. I mean, I, I mean it makes sense because it's an elimination game. You don't want to be eliminated. But, I mean, I don't think in real life it'd be this dramatic or this big of a uh, lead. But, I mean, you never know. But it definitely feels like it's more uh, intense, I'd say. See what we can do here. And we have a power play. Didn't know if we could get something going before the whistle was blown. Let's see what we can do here. Nice play there, O'Reilly. Really to get it away from him. It's a two on one. Even though we should have the puck, since we're on the power play. I'll get that. Up to Saad. Get out of the way. Nice save by the Tendi. And we will skip over this because we don't need to see the little cutscene. Let's just keep it going here. I also didn't mess with the time at all. I left it at four, four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. So... After the power play is done, hopefully it'll fly by rather quickly. And now it's grabbed by McDonough. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Nice save. Paddled it away there. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Saad takes the puck out. Passes it over to no one. Just gives it away. I will go get it as our power play ends. Up to Saad once again. He takes it. What can he do with it, folks? Drop pass down to Bean. Bean can't handle the puck and loses it, but we keep it in the zone. Nice shot. Almost squeaks through, but Brossois holds it for the whistle. Just under 13 left to go in the third period. We're still up by four. Nice play there. Get it away from me. That's all I ask. Or just do a drop pass down to the Lightning. Just give it away. That's always good, too. Get over! <sighs> See, I got it, and then I tried to slide over, but my guy tried to cover the puck, but I don't know if he did that because the fucking Tampa Bay Lightning player was, like, like humping my arm or what. I feel like I could have made that save if I would have got over there. If they count this, I'm going to be a little little ticked. Thankfully not. Because, I mean, 
I, I think my guy went into the cover the puck animation because that guy rammed into me. But even if that would have counted as a goal, I guess I wouldn't have really cared. But offsides is called, so skip. Carolina's laying up pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Tampa Bay's got it now. Nice glove save. Pass it out or not. That was a nice little glove save there. You know what? I'm actually going to see if that'd be a good thumbnail, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Sorry about that. Sometimes you just see a good opportunity to get a thumbnail, and you got to take it. So. Oh, I thought I moved too far over to the right for that one, but I still made the save, thankfully. It definitely does feel like it's a little bit more uh, charged up here. No, uh, no pun intended for it being the lightning, but I mean, it does feel like it's more energetic for both sides, and it doesn't feel like it's just my team scoring every other possession, you know. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. Every now and then I'd appreciate if my team could just score, like, goals in just bunches, you know. But every now and then I just want it to be, like, an equally matched game. I want to feel like I'm being challenged. I don't want to just feel like I can just start the full game and know my team will score, like, five or six goals every time, you know. Oh, with the slapper. Brassois makes the save and holds it for the whistle. Just a little over five left to go in the third period. No goal change for quite a long time so far. I don't think since the second period, so... I definitely think maybe putting it on all-star difficulty made things more even than they were, but who knows how long that'll last and if that would be the same way in the uh, third periods only type games, but... Nice snag from the Tendi. That was... That was flashy from Brassois. I appreciate it. Nice little flashy save. Try and spark some momentum in his team. I can appreciate that. And the more I think about it, the more I think it is kind of like cheating how I changed the difficulty after half the game was already over. But I mean... If I wanted to change the difficulty, we probably have we probably would have gotten to 10 goals by now, and I just think that's too unrealistic. But regardless, the next game, no matter what happens, since it will be a full game, um, I'm not going to mess with the difficulty whatsoever. I'm going to keep it on the same difficulty throughout the entire thing. It doesn't matter if we're winning or we're losing. doesn't matter. I don't care if we're winning by like, I don't care if we're winning like 20 to nothing, you know. But, so the last 26.7 seconds, we've got to kill off a power play. So, who knows, they might get another goal. Hopefully not, though. Just got to make one more save, maybe, maybe two. Nice toe save. Missed wide of the net. That might be the last of it, and that will indeed be it for Game 5. We managed to fend off being eliminated by the Tampa Bay Lightning in Game 5, but who knows what's in store for Game 6 and 7. All I know is if we want to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals, we got to win the next two. So, But, hey, 3-2. That's better than 3-1, to one, you know. I'd prefer if it was done and we had moved on already. But regardless, um, even though we had three terrible games in a row, only played, only played two of the third period games and then simulated through the entirety of one, I hope you did enjoy the three games that we did play despite the first two being absolutely garbage. Um... But yeah, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And also make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss a future one of my videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.